my name is Elena. I'm a Portuguese ICU nurse working in Germany and I volunteered with Meditrip last February in Tanzania. And I've been there four weeks between surgical and medical ward. Um, it wasn't my first time in Africa and uh, to be honest, I really love Africa, so the adaptation wasn't hard for me and I also felt um, all the time really supported by Meditrip and also really welcome at the hospital. There um, I faced some difficulties like the lack of resources, uh, diagnostic means and sometimes even medicines but uh, they do have amazing professionals who do a wonderful job with what they have and I learned a lot these four weeks I was there. They always treated me as a team member. They did word rounds in English for me to understand. Uh, they allowed me to ask questions anytime. And they also asked me a lot of questions and they were really interested uh, to know my opinion and how do we do things here and um, we had an amazing time together. Uh, they let me work, they helped me to interact with patients and uh, this was maybe the best part because we didn't even speak the same language but somehow we managed to find a way to communicate uh, with each other and um, I felt like they liked me and they trusted me. Uh, people in Tanzania, they are amazing. They are always smiling and um, even when they are sick, they smile even with their eyes. And uh, it made my day pretty often because yeah, I cried a lot. <laughs> Uh, in my nurse life, I never had to have such an holistic view about the patient uh, as there, but um, me, my team, the patients and their families, we also had amazing moments and um, they will be forever in my heart. Um, I also had the opportunity uh, to know PP House. Uh, it's a shelter for um, homeless young women and um, I did some training and uh, teaching there on preventing spread of infections and uh, I loved it. I had the opportunity to do one of the things that I love the most on nursing, health education and I ended up going there pretty often and to be honest, I left a part of my heart there. And um, speaking about hard stuff, I could never forget the other volunteers. Um, the decision to volunteer now wasn't easy for me because I've been working for a few years and it never seemed like the best time to do it. But now I'm really glad that I did I applied and I went there alone, but um, I never thought I would meet such amazing human beings as I did. And um, I had a family there and I'm pretty sure they will still be my family. They are the kind of people that you want to keep forever in your life. So I'm really thankful for that. I'm thankful for my family and everyone who supported me and to Meditrip, the other volunteers, PP House and St. Elizabeth Hospital for trusting me, believing me, uh, letting me in and letting me keep dreaming. Thank you so much. It was the best experience of my life and uh, really the proof that it's never too late to do what you were born to, to do what you always dreamed of, and also that you can't change the world alone, but there are really small things that each one of us can do. 
and they will change people's lives. So thank you so much and see you.